So if you're thinking about moving into the city of Miami, then the good news is that you have a few neighborhoods to choose from. From my experience, the three main options are Brickell, Downtown Miami, and Edgewater. And geographically speaking, they're all right next to one another, but each provides a complete different lifestyle and vibe. Today's tour takes us to a gorgeous two bedroom, two bath and a half in Edgewater with stunning views of the bay, and it's all just shy of $3,000 per month. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this one. So let's get started. For those of you returning to my channel, welcome back and thanks for joining me again. You all know what to do. So make sure you like this video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm so that I can keep providing you with more property tour content. And for those of you who are new, thank you for joining us. My name is Steven Vargas. I'm a licensed real estate agent in the South Florida area. And each week I bring you a new property tour. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can see for yourself what Miami real estate is all about. Hey guys, so don't mind this awkward position that I'm in. It's very difficult to find a place for this camera. Anyways, right now we're in this beautiful two bedroom, two bath at the Onyx in Edgewater. But before I talk about the actual unit itself, let's address that montage that you just saw right before this. So that video clip or series of clips was of Margaret Pace Park, which is a staple in Edgewater. So if you're catching yourself living in this area, that's most likely one of the biggest areas you're going to frequent. And it's the heart of Edgewater, at least in my opinion. So you have a lot of cafes, you definitely have the park, the basketball court, the dog park, and a lot of little different things to do activity-wise, but that's pretty much what you'll catch yourself, and that's like the limit of it. And that's why in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that each neighborhood has its own vibe and its own feel, and that's what I was alluding to. Brickle gives you that walkability, as where Edgewater doesn't have that extent of walkability, so you're not going to malls, restaurants, shops, and things of that nature but you sacrifice that walkability in Edgewater for the view. So right behind me, there's a tremendous view. You'll see it now in a little bit, but that is essentially what you'll be able to get. So if you're somebody and your lifestyle calls for more of a quiet family centric neighborhood with a lot of activities, but without that much of a walkability, but you want that view, then Edgewater is obviously gonna be for you. On the contrary, however, if you wanna be in the middle of all the action, don't really care about so much about a view and you're happy with the city life, if you will, then obviously stick to my Brickle videos because that's most likely what is gonna catch your attention. So guys, let me get you out of here. Let's do this quick property tour clip uh, details of it. So as I mentioned, it's a two bedroom, two bath and a half. It's just shy of $3,000 a month and just over 1,500 square feet. It has a lot of great bonuses, which you'll see now, but the best thing is obviously the view right behind me. So without further ado, guys, enjoy the video and I hope that gives you a good breakdown of what you can expect from this neighborhood. Let me know if you have any questions, enjoy.
sucker for high-rise condos with great views of the water, but hey, it's in everyone. Anyways, guys, make sure you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you found value. That way, you can like, comment, and you all want to see.